Okay, hey, we today are going through all my 44s. Um, I personally love their gloves, um, and you can see I have plenty of gloves, and I actually have like 14 other high quality gloves. They're actually all lefty though. Um, I'm not a lefty, but I bought them in bulk to resell, and I haven't resold them yet because I just I love having them, but I'm selling them right now. They're actually listed on eBay. My point is, is I know a lot about gloves, um, have plenty of them, and I'm going to share with you what I think about 44, and actually tell you why they're worth trying out if you haven't, and pretty much just, I'm going to show you all I got. I have, uh, I think, seven gloves uh, from 44 myself, and the very first one I'll show you is actually from Original, just the Original 44, and that was before they came out with a, uh, like a Japanese kip leather, and so definitely a huge difference between the leathers. So this is the first one. Um, it's Mexican leather. Um, Mexican something steer, I, I don't know, but uh, exactly. I mean, if you've ever gotten a custom, it is really exciting. You get that thing in the mail, you know, you're forced to wait that month, even maybe longer, maybe slightly shorter, if you're lucky, uh, for your glove to come in, and because they're building it. And so when this thing came in, holy cow, man, I was pumped. Um, I actually got it for Christmas. This thing smelled like crazy. Like you open that box up and it like hit, punched you in the face. And I loved the smell. Just, um, it smelled a lot different than other leathers, to be honest, but it still had a leather smell and it rocked. But man, this glove sucks, you guys. Um, really poor quality. I'll tell you why really quick. I'll, I'll try to make these quick. Um... The glove has poor leather. It's soft. Um, the shape of the glove is poor. I mean, this is an 11 half inch glove. I was going to use it for baseball. This is one, right, just traditional. And it completely swallows a softball, which, um, yeah, sure, there's nothing super wrong with that. But, I mean, I've tightened the fingers as much as I can. Um, I've done all that I can. And a baseball literally shakes in there. And I've actually had it go through the web. I was going to contact 44 when they started coming through the web. But I honestly just said, I don't even care. Uh, maybe a year and a half later, they come out with a signature series. And so I'm like, all right, I got to try this again. Because I've heard, I heard a ton of really good things. And you could just see it was clearly higher quality leather. So I was very excited to try it. And that's when I got this. This is maybe two years later, a year and a half later maybe. I pick up this. Um, now this is a signature series, um, it's, you know, 44 obviously, this is purple, purple, purple stitching, purple stitching through the web, and then it's tan, and then you got the, uh, white welting, and so, man, this thing rocks, also, yeah, so I mean, I got Romans 831, I got the cross, and it says mine, because it's mine, mine, and so, um, man, I love this, I, I mean, I still love this thing. This thing rocks. Um, you guys, leather quality shot up like a rocket. It, it, it went from, I mean, to be perfectly honest, this is like a two, uh, three out of ten. Um, not, not a very big fan. I get this, and after breaking it in, super pumped about it. Um, like five years down the road or whatever it's been now. I'm still super pumped about it because it's a high quality glove. It's nice. But you guys, these things are great. Um, I went 11 inches and then I had the uh, hinge cross web and I love it. I think I, it looks sick. But I went 11 inches. I'm a third baseman and the idea was that it was going to be sort of a trainer. Love this thing. Has an amazing pocket. Forms to my hand perfectly. I mean, it's my hand in this thing. It's, it's beautiful. So now, you know, they pop up to eight, easy 8 out of 10 and probably a 9. Um, you know, I would, I would put it up even higher because it's custom. And so you just, you know, you just love it when it's custom. But just flat out, it being a glove, easy 8 out of 10. My next glove that I got in the mail would have been this one. Yeah, it would have been this one. And so now, I couldn't really tell you, to be honest. I couldn't tell you why I got another 11-inch glove. Uh, that made no sense. You know, I needed something that was like 11, 7, 5, 12 inches because I'm playing third. And I go and buy another 11-inch glove. 
I don't know why, but man, it looks good. So on this one, I went with uh, kind of a old Diamonds back, Diamondbacks colorway, um, kind of 90s look, um, and it's sick. It's got the one piece web tan, and then it's purple and the sky blue. The sky blue looks great. It is crazy bright. It pops. I mean, if you just look um, at that uh, binding there, it really does pop. And so this thing's great. I And the big thing for this one is I went with the dual welting. Because every time I've gotten a 44, I really have been focused on trying a new um, piece to the glove. And so I went with the dual welting to see how their dual welting was. And phenomenal, actually. Great. The fingers are stiffer finger in, in a way of just being like, I mean, if you need a glove to last longer, this will do it. I actually have one coming in the mail right now. I'll be happy to show you guys. It's it's going to look great. Um, got a bit of an American theme to it. And so, uh, but also kind of keeping it classy. But, uh, man, this thing, the dual welting actually really is great. It does not, I've seen dual welting on smaller companies. And when they, when they put the dual welting in, it basically, if it's not done cleanly, it looks bad. But, I mean, these... You can see it perfectly straight up and down. I've seen it done where it just looks gross. You'll see them basically go like wide and then in and out. Um, leather looks like it's stretching or pulling and it just doesn't look good. But the leather, I mean, it it works. It's, it definitely works. And so I actually have a dual welting, another one coming in. Gonna be using it for slow pitch this next season. And I'm really excited about that, so. Um, next one, what did I buy next? Oh, actually. This is what I bought next, and I actually bought this, um, let's see, like I paid for that, you know, two weeks in, I'm like, ah, I need one, I need another one. I bought this. So before that one even came in the mail, this one was also being created. This thing rocks. Um, on this one, I've got maroon stitching, um, and then... What's it say? It says Romans 831. It's got the cross and the maroon stitching. Blonde everywhere else. Black mesh. Um, I actually love this thing. I mean, it, it, it looks great. Um, definitely looks awesome. I was really excited because I went with the uh, leather on the crown tip, but then the mesh on top. And I got this, uh, man, like, five, six years ago, something like that. I don't know, five years ago, maybe. Uh, anyway, I was really excited about the leather on the back because at that time, I don't think I'd ever seen that. I mean, I was scrolling through 44's Instagram looking and looking and looking and looking, and I don't think I ever saw um, another person order one with the uh, difference of the leather and the mesh with the crown tip. And so I was really pumped because I thought it was gonna be super sick. And yes, it looks great, but I think it ruined the performance of the glove, which is, um, I guess you could say is a flaw about 44. So 44 is super customizable. Like they will let you do anything. You, you think it, and they will try their best to make it into um, reality. Um, if they can't, they'll obviously let you know, hey, we sorry, we can't do that. But they really do try hard, and that's something that's great about them. But something that stinks is... Even if it's a great idea, it's gonna look awesome maybe. Sometimes it actually ruins the performance of the glove. And in this case, um, having the stiff, like back of this palm, you know, like fingers here are right here pretty much, you know? And so this is all stiff, but this mesh is like loose and light and lighter than the leather. And so it created just this like funnel and ball hits, ball hits and shoots up and out. And I've, I've done my best to really fix that um, and it's kind of just unpreventable at this point. I think my best option is getting this point, this thing to the point where it's completely floppy. Um, you know, just totally loose, broken in. I might just totally beat this thing and mistreat it. You know, let it sit on its side. Like, I, I really don't do that with any of my other gloves. But I might have to do that just to get this thing to the point of really being more usable. But, uh, but that'll take time. But... But yeah, so I love this thing. 44 did their job. They did amazing. But uh, on me, uh, for the performance of the glove, 
not the best. I wasn't able to game it like I wanted to, which is a bummer. Next up, um, got a pitching glove. Um, I love pitching. Don't get to any more because it's just do slow pitch and pitching and slow pitch ain't fun, <laughs> in my opinion. But um, this thing's great. So this is a 12 inch, oh hey, sorry, by the way, uh, 11 and a half inches. Yeah, 11 and a half inches. This one, 12 inches. And so I actually bought this one off of eBay. Uh, bought it off uh, from Jason Lawn. Thank you for your glove, man. It's a great glove. I don't know why he got rid of it. Uh, I I see no reason to. He I mean he gave it to me brand new. Um, got it for like eighty bucks. And so it's a great look. What it is is it's mesh, okay? Mesh on the back. It's full mesh back. And then snakeskin everywhere. It's got the snakeskin finger hood. Um, snakeskin all back, black uh, palm with the gold stamp, which looks uh, phenomenal with the gold stitching through here and here. And you guys, this, I mean, man, this glove feels great. Actually, to be perfectly honest, out of all the gloves I own from 44, the fingers for some reason on this thing are phenomenal. They feel amazing. Like they are just a so I don't know how to explain it. They're they're the perfect balance of stiff and um flexible and I think it has to do with 44's mesh. 44's mesh mesh is high quality. I highly actually recommend it. Um something that I would just let you know is with their mesh, it's like this diamond look, which looks awesome in my opinion. Maybe you don't like the look, I don't know, but their mesh is is truly like attached to the glove. I don't know what they do differently than like Rawlings, but it is, you can't pinch it off like you can with a Rawlings. So let me grab you a, my, uh, this here, here's a Pro Preferred. So you see this thing, um, this is like a, I think this might be a Home Run Monkey special, but uh, this thing, Pro Preferred, you can see here, you can like totally pull off the mesh. It, it it's It's odd, it's not like attached like um, a 44 is and obviously I know this thing is really beat up and worn down I've got another pro prefer here got another one here and it just does the same thing you can like pull on it and it pulls out it just isn't attached like it is on a 44 and it makes it feel much more high quality so I gotta give it to them because they did a great job uh, my next 44 it's not really doing too hot right now um, this is one that I got off of, uh, CPSX, I think it is, or CPX maybe, sorry, CPX, 44. He's on Instagram, super awesome guy, he gets gloves from 44, and then he sells them for a very discounted price, and I mean like 80 bucks, um, somewhere around there, and so, phenomenal price. I got this, and the reason I was really excited about this, I'm not a huge fan of the color, um, red and yellow. I'm not trying to look like I'm supporting McDonald's and working for them or something, but whatever. Anyway, this thing is awesome. It's the 574 model, which should be on the thumb. Yeah, it is. It's 11 and a half inches, and basically what this is, is a Pro 200. It's their best uh, version of the Rawlings Pro 200. And when I say best, I mean they, they did a great job. The, the, I, I, when it comes to just comfort and feel, if you like the way a Rawlings feels, go with the 574 because it's actually phenomenal. I unlaced it myself. It had yellow lacing throughout it. It, it just didn't look too great. And so that's why I unlaced it. And I'm going to go with, I don't know. I was thinking about going blue and maybe finding a blue web. Um, might get a hold of 44, see if I could buy a web off them. Um... But just, I, I gotta change up the color just so it's not just red and yellow because I'm not a huge fan. But anyway, um, I know it's not much to look at for you guys, but uh, but this glove is phenomenal. It's, all, it's awesome. Leather on it is amazing. Finger stalls are beautiful. Um, it's got it's got like the more wide feel like a Rawlings does, a Pro 200, and it's great. It's got the a little bit deeper of a pocket. Awesome glove.
Um, I didn't show you guys just to see what it looks like. Um, you can kind of see here's the thumb pad, inner there, some writing on it. It's interesting to look at. But yeah, um, probably just ruining the adhesive um, by doing that, but it's okay. Maybe I'll just throw some new adhesive on there before I lace it up. But, um, but yeah, so I do, I do actually really recommend that. If you're a fan of Rawlings, boom, 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 that's the way to go. And then here's my last one. Um, to be perfectly honest, when 44 posted a picture of this glove, I think the first three comments were people going, oh man, what did a clown make this glove? And stuff like that. And um, I'm reading the comments like, <laughs> uh, heartbroken. But um, yeah, I went with the mint because it was a new color at the time. Um, I got that hinge post web and I did the, uh, oh man, what do they call it? I don't know, I call it cowboy leather. I forget what it's called. But they do the stamping um, all throughout the leather. And it looks sick, you guys. It's awesome. If you work with it the right way, it looks amazing. And so, um, the look of this thing, you know, you can let me know if you think it's ugly or if you, th you like it. But uh, it's black with the tan. Uh, and then, uh, what is it? A little bit of white, you know, got white stitching, the white logo. Black mint. Mint is the other color. Sorry, kind of a brain fart. That was the slowest I could have said that. Big thing about this glove is it's the JP11, which is means it's the Japanese style of glove. And the what, the biggest way to tell is that black piece that goes through the middle and index finger. Um, it's part of the palm getting pulled back. Um, I believe the idea, I don't know for sure, is it just creates a separation between these two fingers, right? Right here and here, it creates that separation. And so you can wear it traditional, but it's sort of as if you're wearing it um, to in the pinky because it's allowing this index finger to be part of the web. Um, that might not be foolproof, but like that might not be right, but that's the effect it's had on my glove. Um, I've noticed that. And so, um, love this thing. For, again, 44 did an amazing job. High quality leather, great lacing through it. Um, I got the uh, glove locks on it just to try it out. Kind of a fan, actually. I like it. And, uh, man, nothing to complain about. Again, I got mine on there because it's mine. So, it's simple. Um, but you guys, yeah, this glove is great. Um, the reason it doesn't look too great, I'll, I'll explain it to you. The reason it doesn't look that good is because everything on here that was mint, here, here, boom, 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 and boom, that was all supposed to be the denim that 44 has Right now it's on the builder. It's on the custom like site and everything. But at the time it wasn't. And I, I did a special request saying, hey, can you guys put denim on the glove? Um, um, you know, I said the specific spots and um, they replied saying, no, we can't. Sorry, that's not part of the builder. And I was like, okay, that makes sense. And I made a rush decision and went with the mint. I think it could have looked better, definitely. But I still love the, th the way it feels, love the way it plays. It's 12 inches. I used this for softball um, this past season. We play slow pitch. And um, yeah, it definitely, that's just traditional. It, it, it swallows it for sure. They did a great job. Um, and uh, what really sucks though is when 44 said, no, we can't do that. I think it was two weeks later, before I even got my glove. Uh, they put the denim on the custom website. Um, and so in my head, I was like, oh. I was like, I wish they would have just told me that they were going to put it on website. So that was a heartbreaker. You know, it hurt. But, uh, but you know, somebody's just doing their job at 44. I can't complain. But, um, but yeah, overall, JP11. Um, I do really enjoy it. I'm glad I got it. But uh, I won't go with it again. It's not my style exactly, but I gamed it um, for, you know, two seasons or whatever, a softball, softball short, short. So it's pretty much the equivalent of one baseball season, really. But, um, but yeah, again, love it. Love the web. And you guys, I got another 44 coming in the mail. And uh, 
So it's it's being built right now, but uh, I'm really excited for it. It's gonna be awesome. It's got a classic look, but um, but it's you know it's a little America glove, and so I'm really pumped to get it. Um, I'll show you it. Uh, I'll try to do an unboxing. If I don't do an unboxing, um, I'll definitely do a quick review just so you can see it, uh, see what it looks like, brand new. But overall, you guys, the positives of 44 would definitely have to be. Uh, just the fact that they'll, they try their best to make the glove you want. So they are willing to work with you and work hard to get you the custom glove you want. Um, another big thing is just the leather quality is high. It's up there, you guys. I've got part of the high pro preferred. I've got another pro preferred. I've got an A2K. I've had a few A2Ks, but I've sold them. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Wilson. I just love Rawlings, but I know Wilson has high quality gloves. Um, I've had like three, four Halloweens. Um, you know, I got a small batch Easton, um, another 2000 Diamond Elite. Um, you guys, I've, I've had it all pretty much. And their leather is in no way uh, a different level than A2000's Heart of the Hides. It's on that same level. I'm not saying that they're better than them or anything like that. Because they have just a different feel. Like a Pro Preferred feels different than a Heart of the Hide. Heart of the Hide is going to feel different than an A2000. Um, and man, 44s are going to feel just slightly different than, um, those other gloves. It's all personal preference, but in my opinion, they're on the same playing field. Um, in no way are they under them. And you guys, it is mind blowing how cheap their gloves are. They sell customs for like, uh, 185, I think. Customs for 185. They have Kip leather. Okay. And so pro preferred their Kip is uh you know to design a custom glove it's something like 450 or 400 to 450 on Rawlings and I know they're a big name brand but you guys 44 is selling that same thing that same type of leather 185 so uh highly encourage you to just go out give them a try and heck even on days where they have discounts it's even cheaper than that because most holidays they give a certain 15% off. And so, yeah, I mean, go after 44. They, they rock. Um, if I had to think of a downfall from them, because um, it's not like they don't. One of the downfalls is maybe sometimes they should say no to certain things. Um, I don't think it would be a bad idea to say, hey, just to let you know, if you put this web on this glove, you know, it technically isn't the best choice it, it might ruin the performance um that's more of a rare thing but it might i think it happens every once in a while so overall go get yourself a 44 and uh if you're like me and maybe you have one on the way you're just gonna be on youtube looking up as many different 44 videos as you can uh, that's something i tend to do but uh but yeah, so definitely give them a try. Don't knock them out for no reason. That's it. Okay, hey, one more thing. Um, kind of forgot, but um, if you guys want to see any more reviews on specific gloves, like you saw, um, everything that was behind me, you let me know. Um, put it in the comments, and I'll put them up. I have a few different lefty gloves. I got a Reebok. I got... Um, another Easton. This thing's sick, actually. Um, Nike Pro Gold Tradition. Uh, mm, this thing is so nice. This Easton is beautiful, you guys. It it's insane. The the quality on it. I'm just I'm mind blown because I've had an Easton tradi or uh, Easton uh, Professional. Sorry, Easton Professional, their older model before, and that one. The, the quality of it is crazy, so I, I don't know if it was some sort of a pro stock type thing, but man, it it's nice. But I got a Nike Pro Gold Tradition, the SSK, the Louisville Slugger, and uh, Wilson A2000 with the classic, like, I don't know, wrist thingy. What? Yeah, wrist thingy. But you guys, let me know. Oh, this thing's just a beauty, though. This classic Wilson. I actually found that one in a Goodwill, and that thing is gorgeous. Um, got that for really cheap at Goodwill. It was brand new, so that's awesome. But, um, yeah, you guys, let me know what you want to see. I'll do a review on it. 
those lefties are gonna be gone soon so if you want a review you gotta let me know now because i'm selling them so hey that's it though peace out